Um, bro, I do not want to work today. <sighs> I'm dead tired. It's Friday though. Unfortunately, we have to ref tomorrow. But tomorrow's gonna be the last day we're refing. I'm not refing no more. It is final. I have made the decision. No more refing for me. <laughs> Right now, I'm actually going to be depositing $500 into my school's first loan, leaving it with about $1,000 left to pay off. Hopefully, we're able to pay it off before the end of the month with our next paycheck, which is the final paycheck of the month. I'm excited. Damn, 500 bucks. And before lunch, I did deposit $100 into my cash app, which then we spent on Carlos Jr. Fuck it, it's Friday. Shout out the homie for some chicken stars. I tried and ghost so far good day we already paid off some debt now let's try to hold on to this money as long as possible just clocked out and right now i actually just paid 550 dollars into my school's first loan leaving us with 971 dollars left to pay off on that loan a little under a thousand dollars left to pay off on that loan is crazy <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited uh cedric the cash or card uh card Go drop it off to my girl yes i got myself one i'm not really a big starbucks fan i just wanted for the caffeine low key frappuccinos are good though let's go get this delivery just like that the package is delivered seven bucks for this small ass gasket fuck it though it's honestly not that expensive to fix this we did the tasks that we've been procrastinating well i've been procrastinating for the past couple of days but all that matters is that they're done now let's go on to the next couple of tasks that we need to do for the rest of the month so far honestly i am so happy with how the month is turning out and we still have a whole week to go we're barely getting started boys i'm ready all right just cut up a little bit of the gaming video but i'm gonna go on the run it is 505 right now we will come back continue editing we'll also do our non-negotiables all right let's get straight into it we just had a sesh let's continue the what was it marketing one like i said this was an introduction i'm waiting for these i feel like these are actually gonna be good but honestly now that i look at it is there another one these are the ones i'm excited for i might get into these next but still be watching these it's like you just gotta work on everything at the same time i guess while, while you're in here because the e-commerce we could use it for my clothing brand as well copywriting will never hurt is basically an en english class <laughs> on how to understand psychology of you know writing and selling and you see how active these are i don't know how long it's been since these have been like marked red but i've literally marked them red so often because it just looks clean like this but there's hell of fucking messages can't lie like this shit active this is one of my favorite parts about you know this these are the main ones i believe will be crucial to learning how to make money one two well i'll start one two three four five these six because this is basically just the in introduction these six campuses are like your six periods in high school basically try to do as much as you did in high school but here and i promise you it will do more than high school ever did for you i got a comment today saying that i don't need to be paying 50 dollars a month for this knowledge my thoughts on that is to each its own but anybody can decide where their money goes into if you guys would rather spend your money on something else, go ahead. You guys have seen where my money goes into. So I'd rather be putting 50 bucks into this than some of the things I'd be spending on. 50 bucks is not bad. <laughs> like, you guys are acting like I'm losing half of my paycheck from learning this. This is something that should be easily obtained and not hard to maintain. And if you're like deeply into this like if you're literally waking up every single day and going to this like some of the high school kids that are in here and care about this more already make more money than their parents ever have there are youngins that are making way more money than majority of the people in america on this and i'm i'm seeing the proof in the pudding because <laughs> if it didn't work if it, if it was really a scam if he was really taking your money people would be complaining I've even watched a lot of videos on this on YouTube and a lot of the actual thoughts on it from a lot of people that literally review courses, they think this is worth it. Take that how you want. I'm going to continue putting 50 bucks into this. I've been doing this since last year, even if I haven't been on it. Because if you do join and then leave, but then want to come back, the next time you come back is going to be even more expensive. 
Now that's on you. <laughs> if, it, if you're really double thinking coming back, that's that's how valuable the content is because you know you're gonna wanna come back for the content. But yeah, that's all I really gotta say. I do like the real world. I like the content in it. I like how consistent the chats are and we'll continue to watch this. And I feel like at some point it should be boring because you've seen everything so once you've seen everything then maybe hop off it but a lot of people will probably keep it just for the chat aspect just to have people to talk to and ask questions and have your questions answered one thing for me is i've always preached that high school did not teach what it needed to teach people to survive in the real world coincidentally Andrew Tate called this the real world and this helps you more in the real world than high school does in my opinion the school system is shall I say falling I've made videos on this in the past check them out right here if you guys want um, ranting about how you know school hasn't done what it, ne it needs to do and I don't know I really think that this is worth it that's all I'm trying to say you guys may notice that I'm not strict on the one hour. I don't want it to be exactly like high school. Like I, I want to be able to be like, all right, I'm not in the mode to learn right now. Like when I'm after editing, that's why I'm doing this before editing because I know after editing, my brain is kind of fried because I'm just tired of, you know, mentally working basically. Right now I feel fresh. Let's watch this, go to the homies pad, talk about strictly business, come back, edit and do what we got to do. It's gonna be a day. Let's go finish this. What is good marketing? If I don't write something down, I'm still gonna be taking something from it but it's more likely for me not to remember it that's why a lot of people write notes because you're seeing what you're thinking and then if you say it out loud you're hearing what you're thinking it's more of a possibility of you actually doing the action or doing what you're thinking because a lot of times people just think and don't act just saying <laughs> that's why i write a lot of notes or at least try to or highlight a lot whenever i'm reading books you guys may see i fucking sometimes highlight the whole page i'll do it if i got to if i really think the whole page is valuable i'll highlight it but i'll do like different types of highlights you know most marketing success that's so far what i've gotten <laughs> 608 okay so we talked that. about shit marketing let's talk about good marketing marketing that actually works that starts with homework for Marketing mastery lesson about good marketing. Bro, Something like that. So I know bro? that you're not talking about the, the latest not do homework assignments in school, for that I day. Doing... I know that you're talking about today's <laughs> lesson that we're now doing. And try to laser point, like who is actually going to buy this? Who is actually the perfect customer for that business? I'll mention that this is the homework for marketing mastery. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So he wants me to put it on the chat and he's gonna judge it. You see, I wanna see if he actually replies. I'm actually gonna do it. I need to actually, I guess, be active in the chat as well if I want to see a lot of progress and if I wanna get noticed, you know? We are gonna finish the marketing mastery in the next video that we watch this uh, course, which is probably gonna be on Sunday. Tomorrow, we are for sure gonna do the homework, which if we do have time a little later, we will do. Oh, there goes the timer. Okay, thank you. Does it shut off? Thank you. This is what we wrote. This is what I had yesterday. Then good marketing is today. And we wrote this. These are the questions that he wants us to answer right here. Then we got to write basi basically an essay either right here or I'll probably do one on this side and one on this side. That is what we got so far. We just need these for the marketing. So far, the marketing has been pretty good. At first, it was pretty boring. But today, he did give a good amount of good advice. But I feel like it was repetitive, which I kind of liked because it's like negative nailing the nail in the coffin just making sure it's in there making sure you got it in here and it's not going in one ear and out the other um, he put it in a lot of different perspectives just kept you know we do have one two three four five more videos for this marketing mastery and then we're done it's pretty cool that this is kind of like online schooling <laughs> And I guess we're trying to make a testimony that it's worth it and will make you the money back and more, much more. The main important part is about learning about these skills because they are skills. Every single one of the campuses I showed you guys earlier are skills that you can develop even outside of the real world, obviously, but this is supposed to speed up the process rather than you being on Google or on YouTube trying to find the knowledge yourself.
because yes one google search away but at the same time you gotta think and understand not everything that's being shown to you is the correct thing you gotta weed out the week and see what is correct and do some more research some more deep research right here you're talking to professionals people that have succeeded within the, the things that they are talking about yes i've heard the things that they're talking about before but i can't remember where obviously like you don't put focus on that certain thing you probably learned it and and put it in the back of your mind but didn't put action into the things that they are saying this is perfect example of you putting action into the things that they're saying he's giving homework on things that you should be working on the things he basically made homework makes sense it's like two businesses that answer the, these questions which is perfect because i've kind of already done this before but i love doing this because it gives me a great or great bird's eye view of how i want my businesses to be ran because while you're doing it you're in the zone you're working on it so you can't really get a, a different perspective unless if you're doing something like this yeah let's go to the homies pad talk about strictly business if you guys wouldn't pay 50 dollars for the real world would you guys at least pay 50 dollars for a hoodie that's my question let me know down in the comments below so i went to the homie cabs pad to talk about strictly business but then we started talking about something else he went on a full-on rant on me he checked me he called me out on my bullshit and you can see how i started making excuses and didn't want to face reality but i guess this is a reality check i really needed the nigga no it's just a bunch of problems on top of each other that you think you can fucking handle and then fucking four years later nothing changes nigga it's, that's some, it's experience it's, i've literally witnessed you you don't know how many fucking times i've had this comes out of you it's like everything else has just kind of been like just a bunch of bullshit like all your other kind of past jobs dr, no, dr. You, dr. squash was dope like it's an experience it was dope like, but it's like I'm that's why like it's an experience like working at a place like that like every job you go to it's a different environment like a lot of people like that say at one job don't go yeah to but sometimes you just don't need to be at places like, sometimes you just you probably could have taken other paths that just would have been way better or just been other shit no for sure but you know, i probably would have like it, it wouldn't make me the person i am right now like i'm happy i've gone through what i've Nigga, gone sometimes through. i look at the person you're right now and i'm like Fuck, dude, like, is this guy even doing, like, that's what I'm Bro, saying, that's even, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you don't even know, that, that's the best nigga, part. you say I don't know, but it's that's like. That's the best part is that you, you don't understand the, the work I put in when I was in the apartment. Nigga, I see the work, I'm just saying. Not, I, what I see now is a nigga that's still in debt, all his videos are, I failed this challenge, I failed Have that challenge. Have you watched the recent videos? I did, but I'm talking that about discipline, nigga, continuous. your discipline is shit. Not really. Yes, it is. Not anymore. Yes, it is. Josh, if I did not make that bet with you running, who knows what you're working <laughs> Like, yeah, I, I mean, your I fat got ass you. cannot fucking avoid candy, fucking burgers, fucking this. You spend money like that. That's what I'm saying. You fail all these challenges because you don't know how to plan shit and you don't do your schedules. But I be doing. Or you try to do, or you try to do too much and then you fail this challenge and then that's just. Nah, cause like. You say nah, but nigga, you literally told me last time that you had no time or you're too tired to do that. Well, so yeah, because I'm fucking busting my ass off construction saying. then editing. Like, do you want constant shit work or do you want good? Good work. You see, I'm calling you out on this stuff, and you're trying to make a little. It's just. No, oh, yeah, I get it. I'm just saying, bro. I'm seeing you here. You tell me stuff, and I'm just like, from what yeah. I see, from what I hear, it's like just for all the talk that you've been saying, it's been such little change. And I'm just saying for all the talk you say, I'm just saying all the talk you say. Oh no, yeah. Because you talk a lot. You talk a lot. So that's why I'm saying, nigga, if you're gonna be talking that much, if not, then just shut the fuck up and do your work. That's why I've even just stopped kind of saying that I'm just, I'm just kind of not just. No, yeah. Like it. Can't can't be the mindset of just oh I'm failing but I'm still trying because that's just fucking at that point it's like two years of that. But at times you can't you can't like. I know, but I'm just saying two three years of that. That's a fucking loser mentality, nigga. That's just but accepting it's, failure, man. Like it's, okay, it's better than trying. it's better than failing and then giving up. Like. No, but now it's to the point where no, nigga, we shouldn't be failing as much. No, yeah, we should exactly. just be fucking boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we've already failed too much to keep fucking saying that. Cause now we're getting too comfortable saying that. We've gotten too comfortable saying that with workouts. Yeah, don't get too comfortable in being like. That's exactly why the daily upload thing. Like, oh yeah. But I feel like maybe that was some of your excuses when you failed all those challenges of like, oh, at least I'm still... No, for sure. You know? It's like, do you want to keep being close to the top and then just being like, oh, I failed, but I keep giving, I keep trying. I never make it, but I keep trying. Yeah. Or do you want to be like, nah, fuck that okay, shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of fucking not making it and you see, I want to fucking... Yeah. That's lately, what I mean. Lately, I see that more like... like. And that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Hopefully, stay in that. 
please stay. I don't want the <laughs> next fucking video to be because, like, like I've said, I've had this conversation with you many times. Oh Two weeks ago, you said, "Have you seen the fucking videos lately?" And then fucking, I've seen the most depressing video of my life. <laughs> nigga wasted his whole check in one fucking day. That's what I'm saying, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'm probably the only nigga that's gonna really fucking call you out on that. And I don't even give a fuck what bullshit excuses you give me because I see what I see. And that's what I'm saying too. At times, you can't even buy a little shit you want because it's like, like that's stupid as fuck. I like what? And I get it. It's like it's little shit too. So who cares? But it still should be a thing where it's like, oh, if I want something small, I should be able to get it. What do you mean? Like just little things. Like like what just say we just for now. But it's like for the past long, who knows how long you can't even really buy. Oh no, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you know how annoying it is to just want something and then it's like fuck, when it's something so small. That, that's like a, that, that's exactly why once I got hella money, I started spending. That's what I'm saying, wanted. dude. That's exactly. why I'm only gonna buy myself this for this time, and then next time I'll do that. I put, I put, Your ass fucking buys everything at once, and then fucking. All right, now I'll fucking start saving when I have no fucking money to fucking buy myself this shit.